Welcome to this video, which is part of a series of training videos for the Colonial Waterbird Program. In this video, we will cover the 2019 field season highlights and results. This video will include a map of the Colonial Waterbird survey sites, a summary of the 2019 annual report, which includes colonies and peak nest counts, gull counts, and the results and analysis. These data were collected by 84 volunteers and SFBBO staff and interns. Our study area encompasses colonies within the counties of Santa Clara, San Mateo, Alameda, Contra Costa, and San Joaquin. Colonies are located as far north as San Francisco, as far east as Brentwood, as far south as Coyote Valley, and as far west as Pescadero. The Audubon Canyon Ranch manages a similar monitoring program for herons and egrets in the north and central bays, and Point Blue Conservation Science manages a program in the San Joaquin Valley. The observational study methods for waterbird colony monitoring have remained largely unchanged since the program's initiation in 1982. Our monitoring efforts are divided based on two guilds. One, gulls, terns, and shorebirds, and two, herons, egrets, and cormorants. This is a map of the colonial waterbird colonies and peak nest counts in San Francisco Bay. The circle sizes indicate peak nest counts for our target species groups. Counts are based on observational methods and do not include data collected during California gull walkthroughs. The largest circle represents a large peak count and the smallest would be a small peak count. In 2019, our volunteers monitored several species and in some cases thousands of nests throughout the season, with California gulls having a peak of 22,513 nests and the lowest being a peak of three green heron nests. The red and green numbers indicate how much the nest counts increased or decreased from the 2018 season. A 10% change in either direction is considered natural variation. We also have an annual survey called the California Gull Walkthrough. This survey is held in early May, and a team of observers will walk through known colonies and tally nests. Typically, the observers will walk, kayak, and wear hard hats because it can get messy. The observers also identify birds with bands to understand where gulls move after changes to their habitat, such as restoration events. This figure shows the estimated number of breeding California gulls in South San Francisco Bay from 1980 to 2019. California gulls are the most abundant nesting waterbird in the South San Francisco Bay, and SFBBO has been monitoring the growth of the breeding population since 1980. In 2019, SFBBO monitored 10 California gull colonies via walkthrough surveys from May 12th through the 30th. California gull colony sizes range from two breeding birds to 18,072 birds. The data we have collected indicate that the gull population may be starting to stabilize and that they are changing their distribution and selection of breeding sites within the South Bay. Gulls are nest predators and can threaten other sensitive species in the Bay Area. This is why our work monitoring the colonies is so important. Our citizen scientists helped SFBBO share our data with land managers and others working to conserve Bay Area birds. In addition to writing the annual report, throughout the season, SFBBO staff wrote and shared several mini-reports on specific colonies in response to requests from landowners and community members. This graph shows information for downtown Oakland colonies, which we have monitored since 2015. The birds here are nesting in a heavily urban area and there are concerns for their well-being and human-wildlife conflict. In the past, we have provided our data to groups considering management options to potentially guide the birds to a more desirable habitat. This past year, the most active nesting tree collapsed toward the end of the breeding season. Our records will be important for understanding the impact of the incident and how the birds will respond this year. These requests for information grew from relationships that were developed and nurtured by our citizen scientists as they worked in the field, and with their help, we plan to build on this process and provide more site-specific information for people in the community. Birds in Your Neighborhood events are a great opportunity to introduce local communities to your colony and share all that you have learned about it. We're looking to host even more this year, so please think about volunteering to lead one at your site, with support from the outreach team.